teams are just about to head out for a repeat run of the four very difficult stages that they had this morning. We've just caught up with them in the service park to see how their morning went and what they're expecting this afternoon. Pretty exciting to be involved in a fight like this on a Sunday afternoon in Rally Queensland. Yeah, it was even that exciting that I made the phone call when I came in and said, you better go see the Kumo guy and get some more tyres, let's keep going. <laughs> and that's so, true though, it's difficult for privateers. We talk about your maximum amount, which can be difficult for our leading teams to manage, but when you're a privateer and you're funding it yourself, you're trying to limit the cost factor and everything else. This means, gung-ho, new tyres are going on, are they? Yep, we're doing it. So uh, we'll keep going now, see what we can bring home. There's still a chance to win it. Are you sort of hoping that it sort of just falls your way or you do plan to push? Oh, I think we'll see what happens in service, we'll see what the issues are and if we can get them sorted and then uh, if we can get it where we've got a car that we're confident pushing with, we will. Uh, if not, yeah, we'll just play the, uh, the roll around game and get to the end of the day and uh, see where we come up with and go from there. Mark Meta, the story of everyone's weekend is sort of managing dramas and you probably more than most, even through this last loop, couldn't see, you just told me you had no brakes in the last one, but you're still within a, you know, a chance of winning four-wheel drives, amazing. Yeah, it is amazing, yeah, look, we had a couple of clean ones, like uh, Million and I think it's Woodland, I think yeah. the little short one, it wasn't too bad, um, but then in Candanga we um, had no, well, we, we had no handbrake and then lost rear brakes, had an overshoot. Uh, and then no clutch. So, uh, managed to drag the thing back here and um, fingers crossed the boys can get that right and we can head out this afternoon and um, try and peg back the 27 seconds, I think it is, to Kent. So, so you've got the eyes on. You want to get there. If you get, it'll be an amazing weekend to go through all the dramas, heating problems, first real proper event in the car. That'd be pretty amazing. Yeah, well, that's the plan. We're in third for the, the event and that's, you know, as long as we don't make any mistakes, that's, that's going to be the case. Um, but, you know, we've still got 21 seconds behind Adrian going into the the afternoon for this heat so that's that's still on our radar. We went out this morning, smashed the first half of the stage, got to the water splash, bang, conked, conked out again. Um, next one was Million which is probably not my, the car's not set up the best yeah. for that so but we did a respectable yeah. time through there so I was very happy with that. Went into the next one about six corners in, got a right I thought it was a. I thought it was going to be a right front puncture. It ended up being a right rear puncture. I thought it was two. So then I go really conservative, thinking I've got to get through the next stage with only one spare. We said yesterday this could be really important for your career moving forward to, to identify what the problem was yesterday. The notes are good and everything's spot on. I think it's just that commitment in that fast stuff um, for me, which has always been a bit of a weakness for me. But up here, as you know, it's it's you got to sort of really pull the A game out for that sort of stuff. I'm hearing Simon's having a few issues with the gear cut and stuff like that. So I think that's reflecting his stage times a bit. But he obviously had a good run in Candanga and. I think he took seven seconds out of us, so that's the Simon I expected. It was just a beautiful run, like we didn't put a wheel wrong, nice and clean and neat. Like, yeah, it, it just felt smooth and we weren't taking any risks, so it was nice. Now it looks like the boys are changing shocks in the back, is that precautionary or you got a bit of an issue? No, it's, it's just on the big bumps at rear steers, like we, we look like one of those Crash King videos, you know, you see the front wheel drives come through, they hit a bump and the, the rear starts to overtake the front and then they have a big accident. Well, that's me, but I'm, I'm, I'm avoiding the accident, so... <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, it's a bit hairy. Obviously, we're pushing pretty hard through the, the fast flowing stuff, and you get those bumps. And then, what we've worked out is we're actually a bit soft and we're hitting the bump stops, that's all. So, it's just transferring it straight into the chassis. So, we're putting on a harder set of rear shocks, and away we go.